I've got three PlayStations. Let's try and fix them. PlayStation number one. We open the lid and immediately the button is stuck, which is good news for us to fix. Let's try with Tomb Raider 2 to see if we manage to do anything. We have a picture. CD is recognized. and it doesn't go beyond the screen. Let's try and reset it. Nothing. It fails to read the CD. Yeah, she quits on reading the CD. So We'll see what we can do. PlayStation number two. Let's see what the problem is on this one. Let's put the same game. It also has issues closing. Ooh, and right there I can see that there is no red colors and the sound is very messy so this one definitely has a problem PlayStation number two bad sound no color can it read the disc? I'm sure it can't no it cannot alright let's move on PlayStation number three Let's see what happens. It does look good. Let's use the same game and see what happens. It does read the game, which is great. And there we go, it reads. So this looks good. It just needs a little cleaning on the outside. Let's see if it goes through the game all the way to the menu. So let's then start with PlayStation number one. Let's remove all the Phillips screws with six of them on the back.
So here's the interior, a little dusty, but nothing that big. And the lens, as you can see, is a little dirty, and this debris all around it. There is a possibility that the rails are also dirty, where the laser moves, so that's the reason why it cannot read the disc. Let's see. Let's then take all the Phillips screws from the shield. Let's remove the cable that connects the controller ports. And we remove the controller ports themselves. Let's then remove the shield from the top. The motherboard it does look a little dirty, there's some debris that get caught in my fingers as well, so we take off the Phillips screws. Let's then remove the motherboard. It does look good, there's a little debris on it, but it looks good. Let's then take the shield out. And we now remove the power supply. Careful here, if you are barehanded like me, so you don't get shocked. Even though it's old, the board looks good. There are no capacitors that are swollen. So we now clean all the plastic bits. And the recipe for this is warm water and some dish soap and a scrub to do a good scrub.
after scrubbing rinse it on cold water and leave it out to dry on the sun until it's completely dried out So this, uh, these shields, I thought this was just uh, dirt and debris, but it's not. It is uh, a lot of corrosion, so um, I removed all the debris, what I could at least, with this, uh, with this wet wipe, and eventually the corrosion stuck there. procedure for the bottom shield my apologies for the focus but I have looked at the camera and then it just stood like this for at least as part of the video To clean the uh, ports for the controllers I used isopropyl alcohol with a cotton bud to go into the areas where it's unreachable any other way. So to clean the laser module it will be with a clean cotton bud and also with isopropyl alcohol. We, uh, to make sure that all the connections are good we clean the flex cables in order to remove any sort of corrosion and we clean the lens also with isopropyl alcohol on a cotton bud and then we clean the rest of the module
order to go under and see the rails where the laser goes up and down, we need to remove these two Phillips screws. Inside here we remove the old lubricant that was on the rails and on the gears. We then apply new lubricant with a little toothpick on all the rails and on the uh, gear of the motor. Then the gear will eventually spread out to the other ones that are inside. And we close it with our Phillips screws. To clean the motherboard we use isopropyl alcohol, a toothbrush and we scrub it. Same procedure applies here for the PSU, so just make sure to hold on the uh, limits of the board, otherwise you can get shocked. Be aware of this. Let's then put it back together. In order to remove the rest of the uh, dirt that did not come out when we scrub it, I used a polish wax for the car and with a, a, a microfiber towel we scrub it as hard as we can to remove any of the rest of the dirt that is in it.
and the ones that we cannot remove that way. Let's just use a Dremel with a polish, with a polish wheel and apply a little bit of uh, polish as well from the little polish wheel to remove any of uh, the persistent traces of damages and paint etc. Just make sure not to pressure it because otherwise it will burn the plastic and it will then be permanent. So be gentle. And we repeat the process over and over again until the console is fully cleaned. Let's then test the machine after we assembled it and cleaned it and see what happens. It does look faster, let's see if it goes through the game. And yes, success, we managed to fix this one apparently. We are going into the game. And that's it, hope you enjoyed the video, if you like it leave it a thumbs up, subscribe the channel and the next video probably will be the part 2 of this one with the broken console. Or another video, who knows. See you soon, bye!